For generations of Minnesotans, a trip to Dayton's eighth floor display was a must-see event where an imaginary toyland kicked off the countdown to Christmas. But when Macy's sold off its Nicollet Mall store last year, all those eighth floor holiday displays had to go. And Bill Ewald had to have a piece of history. I didn't describe how big that piece would be, and I brought home this big piece. Ewald bought seven of the automated elves and a prancer to boot, but the vignette had seen better days, tattered, motionless, and broke. Every single piece here needed love. Every single piece needed individual attention. So Bill spent hundreds of hours in his own workshop, shaping wood, remaking arms, legs, and antlers. Their heads were loose on the mechanisms, and, and there's a steel rod that goes up. He'd wire in all new motors to bring Santa's helpers back to life. This was not a hobby for me. It was a privilege. It was a privilege to work on following true artists on what they did. Bill's wife outfitted the elves in fresh clothing. And for Prancer, he built a stable. It was part of our family tradition, and it, this enables it still to be. Preserving a piece of our holiday history through a labor of love. In Minatrista, Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. That is so great. Bill's collection is just a small part of the original eighth floor display. The Minnesota History Center and Bentley, Bill, and Duluth are also refurbishing pieces. That brings back a lot of good memories. It really does, yeah. yeah I bet it does for a lot of people when uh, they see that. Absolutely.